Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Andrew and Price here, also known as Altered Zigo. And the purpose of today's video is to show off a mod I've been working on for Spout slash Bucket uh, multiplayer servers. This is actually an old, old copy of uh, our multiplayer server that uh, my girlfriend and some of my friends play on. Uh, this is very old, so uh, do not judge it too harshly. We've made a lot of changes since then, upgrade the house, etc. But that's not the main point. The main point is to show off these. And these are some colored glass blocks I've been making for the game. They will eventually be craftable right now. Uh, they are only available in the creative menu. And there are still some issues with, uh, with these, and I'll go over those in a second. But I kind of wanted to show them off real quickly. Uh, as you can see from the menu here, we have a nice selection to pick from. I've got almost every color except for the grays and the browns uh, of the wool. So I think you're probably going to dye either the sand or something like that. I thought about making it based on minerals, but to be honest, that seems like a lot of work, and I'm just not sure about doing it that way yet. But anyways, um, and as you can see, they're kind of neat. Uh, they definitely add a little bit of color and the purpose of these is a as you can tell from like this house here It's really hard to add color in Minecraft, which is kind of annoying uh, Because it's kind of a friendly game kind of one of those games where you think it would be really bright and colorful And you can do some of that with textures, but it's you end up using a lot of grays and browns and It just seems a shame to be limited uh, on the color palette like that so the purpose of these is to give you a little bit more options. Like I said, you can do stained glass windows with them, whatever you want. Um, and I'm right now including two different textures, as you can see, the circular one in the center, and then these uh, on the side where they're just closer to the normal uh, glass texture. But to kind of give it more of a, uh, I guess, a 3D effect, I also did change it so that uh, it's not readily apparent here, but on some of the blocks it is more noticeable. Let me pick one of the circular blocks because I think right now that texture is showing better. So let's pick the red one. And you can see here the uh, some of the sides are slightly different from the others as far as the transparency. Uh, this is partially to make it kind of give it more of a candy style effect, as my girlfriend would call it, or a Jolly Rancher effect. Uh, I think it's probably closer to like the gumdrop IMAX of years ago. And probably eventually I will allow you to uh, change which side is facing forward. So if you want to have a little bit more color, uh, you can change that around. It's really apparent up here where you can see these are very transparent. You can see through them pretty clearly. And with these, not so much. And uh, I kind of like that. I kind of like that you could maybe choose which side that you want to use so that uh, you can either have more transparency or um, if you want to like select a different face, you can block out the light more. Well, really, that's all I had to show here today. Uh, there are some issues with these. That's why I haven't published this mod yet. Uh, it's still a work in progress. Uh, for one, if you place a block in water right now, you can't actually break it. It's actually got some really weird, funky stuff to it. And this is uh, not actually due to my code. It's kind of a limitation of spout right now. I I've talked to the de uh, developers. One guy named Forrest, who I do believe is the lead developer, a really nice guy. And he was telling me that it is something that they are working on. They were trying to work on it for the 12.13 release. But, uh, you know... It's just something that uh, has not gotten fixed as of right now. If, but if you actually do want to use water with these, you just uh, you make have to place the block first, and then it works fine. Uh, it's still having transparency issues. This has to do with the render engine in Minecraft, but I won't really bore you with those details. But that's one uh, issue that I'm having with it right now. Another issue, and again, it's a render issue, and I don't know if they're going to be able to fix this, to be honest, is like if you have water, um, you can see the blocks on this side, you can see the water through it a little bit, but if you go to the other side, you can't see the blocks. So if you were to want to like do a water wall between these, you'd have to put blocks on both sides. 
So, you know, just a few limitations that we're working around or trying to fix. You can also see when I'm holding the block, it's not transparent right now. That will be fixed eventually as well. I've got a lot to do a lot of things because there's also an issue with creeper explosions where it actually knocks the texture off the block, which is an issue, and stuff like that. But I kind of thought it was a, uh, a neat little mod that I've been working on, been doing it for the last couple of days. Uh, one other thing about this mod that's kind of cool is how it works with the uh, textures. It's pulling everything right now from actually metadata stored in the PNG file. But eventually, I'm probably going to store it in a config file. So if you want to load different glass textures, or if you actually just want to make a non-glass block, uh, I think I'm going to have it where you can uh, do that without actually having to go into Spout and mess around with it. So that should be kind of cool. I also may do a powered version of some of these blocks, but I haven't decided about that as well. So anyways, that's really all I had to show today. Um... You know, I would appreciate it if you guys think it's cool. Give me some feedback. Let me know what you think. Uh, the textures that you're seeing here are still work in progress. Like, I think the magenta right here is a little bit too close to the pink. But, you know, it's something that uh, is going to get worked on. And, uh, yeah, just let me know what you think. And uh, hopefully I will have this, at least a alpha version of it posted. It may still have some of the bugs with, like, the water and all, but an alpha version of it posted within uh, the next few days to a week. So anyways, once again, this is Andrew and Price saying good gaming and good night.